Okay, so now solving this absolute value sign, we have an equation with two absolute values. And here's a hint. A squared absolute value is the same as A squared. Because if it was negative, you square it, it's still the same when you square it. So it works out really nicely. So I am then going to square both sides. I'm going to square this side and this side. So I get 4, parenthesis, x minus 1 squared, less than or equal to 3 minus x squared. Doing some algebra now, I get 4x squared minus 8x plus 4, bigger than or equal to 9 minus 6x plus x squared. Bring everything to the one side, I get 3x squared minus, or add the 6x minus 2x minus 5 is bigger than or equal to 0. Factor this bad boy here, I get 3x minus 5, x plus 1 works out nicely. And then I make my line, here is negative 1, here is 5 thirds. If I look over here, big negative numbers, so that's negative, positive, so together that is a negative. Throw in zero, that's negative, and positive, so that will be negative, which makes me pause to think about this one. Big negative value, that's negative, that's negative, so together they make a positive. Two negatives make a positive. A big positive value, make it a positive, positive. So again, that will be positive. So my solution, I want it bigger than 0 or equal to 0. I get x is less than or equal to negative 1. And x is bigger than 5 thirds. And so, oh, or equal to. Graphically, close circle this stuff. Close circle that stuff there. If I want to consider what the graph will look like, I put out a Wolfram Alpha already. And so what we can see is here's the one graph we want the blue graph to be above the red graph. That happens here. We're at negative 1. And at 5 thirds here, the blue graph is bigger than the red graph. 